overseas tonight and a U.S. military helicopter accident in Syria, injuring 22 service members, 15 of them now in Germany tonight for medical care. The Pentagon confirming no enemy fire was reported, but real questions, and it comes after recent questions surrounding U.S. military helicopters. Here's our foreign correspondent, James Longman, tonight. Tonight, the U.S. military says it's investigating a helicopter mishap that's left 22 U.S. service members injured in northeastern Syria. This was an MH-47 Chinook um, that had a problem with one rotor that caused a hard landing. The U.S. military says no enemy fire was reported at the time. The incident Sunday left service members with injuries of various degrees, according to U.S. Central Command. A U.S. official tells ABC News 15 were transferred to a military hospital in Germany. As of right now, uh, all of the service members involved in that crash are in stable condition. This comes after officials ordered a 24-hour stand-down of all aviation units back in April to focus on safety protocols. That order followed three helicopter crashes since February that killed 14 service members. There are roughly 900 U.S. soldiers in Syria right now helping partner forces in the fight against ISIS. David, the investigation is ongoing. U.S. troops in Syria and Iraq helped with 38 missions against ISIS in May alone. David. James Longman with us from London. James, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.